and welcome back to the Forgotten City. Fabia, 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 Fabia. No, I can't find. Hello? Hi. A new face. Arve, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What's your story, please? Oh my, I take it people are quite direct where you're from. Yep. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then, you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Thank you. How did you end up here? You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? A woman named Karen dragged me out of a river unconscious and set me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you? Uh, it's an older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. Older? I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. Wait, come on. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. I... All right, I'll do that. Good. Thank you. But please be careful. I just... I don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you, too. I may have already noticed a pattern. You have? Then what is it? Uh, some people mentioned an account. Some people mentioned a river. Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Some people mentioned an encounter with a stranger on the riverbank. Hmm. Yes. I also had such an encounter. What else? That's all I noticed hmm. for. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound hmm. up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. No way out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. What do you think about the Golden Rule, then? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We asked for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Why not? <laughs> Wonderful. It goes like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. 
They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Borsis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine and the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it, except you, who we will grant a wish so old Borsis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Or perhaps it's that the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their test and they don't even have to tell you what the rules are. A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. What's the statue statues of the election? It must be completed by dusk just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. The woman can vote? Mm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself, but in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent, but if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? Using whatever gifts the gods Oh, have. of course. Nothing untoward, of course. What's your role in the election? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Can I nominate another candidate? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Okay. So the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Uh, holding it early may, may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well. I'll get things started right away. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election starting. Hmm. Perhaps could I use this time to do something? Oh god, god damn it. Yeah, it seems like people are indeed. I just wanna see what happens, to be honest. I did not do it. Do we? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? What's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... They said they had to lock me up. What did you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was 
looking for treasure. Did somebody think you were going to steal? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that all? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called They called me a liar, Billy. A liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Magistrate sent you to Dulius. I'm writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guard beyond Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated, should you experience further lapses in memory. What does it say? It says they caught you trespassing several times and they locked you up to stop you breaking the golden rule. Uh, what treasure? What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look on. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. If you give me the key, I can try to find out what it unlocks. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Let me talk to the magistrate about getting out of here. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. The many shall suffer oh, come on. for the sins of the one. It's the statues. Hide! They're alive. Oh. Okay, so something bad happened. Nope. Uh, uh, during the elections. Oh god damn it, I was it hit. Sent you dead? Not much further, so maybe we shouldn't go inside the portal again. And that's the thing I didn't check. Do we have a uh, uh, torch? Oof. Yep, we do. <sighs> Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? 
Oh, I'm fine. I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, you sound serious. I'm listening. Yulia is dying, but Lucretia can help her from this sylphium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. That's it. Now go as fast as you can. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Of course, yeah, go. Shush. I think we should be able to get in here with him around. Yeah, can I get... I'm just wondering whether I can look around this place. Would more for anyone I'm noticing. Wait. Oh my god, no. Seriously though. No. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do this? Why? Why? Oh, can I get it back? I saw me can get back up here. I can't get over there. That looks like a shrine. I can talk to you. Please tell me I didn't break the game. Hello? Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I'm feeling a bit on edge. That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. What's your story, then? Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. How did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river near that shrine and stumbled across this place. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Let's hope so. Wait, God? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. We were among the scuff. I would. I'm sorry to hear that. Yep. Oh, that's. Again? Uh, okay, fair enough. If you like. You know our way I'm out of not. here. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods, decide our fate. 
You just said God instead of gods again. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant gods, of course. No, you didn't. So you're a Christian. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but oh, things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. You secret safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Living by the golden rule. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. And that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? I think people are fundamental good. You don't think that's a little naive? No. Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've seen. Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and... Yeah, but those are adults watching adults. I stand but why at hmm. what I said. I wish I shared your faith. I'll be right, right now. well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. I can move. What are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Alright. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. That's gonna go horribly wrong. Yes, uh, can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh, I was just going to ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulates Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh, Lord. That poor lamb. The suicide didn't break the golden rule. What does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. Okay. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it. Not the sin. It isn't mine. Suicide. I'm writing this down. Uh, what happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. It was my And fault. I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Wait, I think there's something down there. Okay! Can I hit it? Thank you! Thank you! I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate magistrate yes. yes thank you thank you i'm delighted and huh. deeply honored to be you. A and now <coughs> and now I make this yes i'm going to go to his house and now, julia to her
Doctors Malus and Claudia curse you to the depths. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead. This death is preferable to another day in debt bondage to you. May you full respect out your livers in Tartarus for all the eternity. Why can't I take it? Ulpius's lost love may God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could, but without you, my life is meaningless. I only hope we meet again in Gan Eden. Hello? Uh, uh, did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? Yes. That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Oh, thank you. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Um, it's your story. <laughs> I'm Maliolus. And if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. What will you do if you win? I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. How will you do that? By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie? Well, the golden rule seems real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. I'm reliving the same thing over and over again. The golden rule is broken each time. What? Oh, ho, ho, I see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with this much longer. What would it take to prove to you it's real? Books? Thoughts? Surely you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. Even if I can prove it, if uh, if I'm right, then accepting to ever this sister. If I'm wrong, then accepting to make this city a better place isn't a good thing. I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. Your rights, I core is unnatural, and I hate it. I can see nothing I see is going to convince you. But that is simply because you are mistaken. Can I push him from the stairs? Do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. What do you think about the golden rule? You mean oh, I the children's know. fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? I want you to withdraw from the action. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Why yes. would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Uh, because as soon as you win, you're going to break the golden rule. Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden I'm rule. I'm trying! You're going to arrest Sentius for treason and send us into death by the... Oh, okay, good to know. How <laughs> could you possibly know that? Because I know the future. Nonsense! This is nonsense! Because Lamy just told me... I don't know me. how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Demetrius kill him even more. Now, get out of here! You outstayed your very limited welcome. No, 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 I tried to kick him. <laughs> get out of my villa before... Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm picking you the golden skeleton. Ew. Um, how do I get out of here? Still here? Yes, I'm looking for a way out, bugger off. Fortunately, your house isn't very... Oh, I suppose uh, these doors here are my way out. 
Would you mind opening the door for me? Mm. By the way, you have skeleton in Oh no, I think it's just the guy who jumped. Oh, there, there are stairs up here. Of course you can knock on the door. Why would you? Hey, this is Santisa's daughter. Seriously though, where is the way out? Thereby, I, I hereby announce um, um, a day of well, I should think a day of celebration. I announce, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. Yes, yes. <laughs> How can I get out of here? Empty bottle. Here's a bottle for Hemlock, a little person. So mostly like mouse human. So she poisoned herself, I think. Yes, they had purple car cards. I can't get out. Get the door out is closed. Villa before I have Demetrius throw you out. The door. Okay, I'll find a way out. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.